What is going on, guys? Today, we have James Madison, 95 right wing. You're tired of... You're tired of coming up against teams that want to rip your hair out every single day. Make sure you check u7buy.com for the most reliable and cheapest coins on the market. And at checkout, make sure you hit that JT11 for 5% off your order. And hopefully, you have a good day. So in today's video, we are looking at James. He looks like a fantastic card. A five-star, four-star. He's come from an 84 cam. He's been given one increase onto his skill move. His weak foot has remained the same. And he's moved out onto that right wing. Again, a nice card. Looks very good on the base. And it's interesting to see what them in-game stats will look like. 5'9 with the high medium and he is right-footed. To be honest, looks very solid on the base. Outside of the foot and flare, which is always good. And the in-games then. Let's have a look. Great acceleration. Sprint speed's decent. Uh, finishing could do with some work. Shot power's nice. Same as long. Passing's good. Dribbling's solid. Little bit, A little bit of aggression. Good stamina. What is the chem style then? So they are looking at a hawk, which would give you 97 pace, 96 shooting, 85 physical, a 97 right wing, a 97 cam, which is exactly where I would prefer to go with him. Just because you get that increase on the sprint speed, the dribbling's already fantastic, 98 aggression, which is always good, and you get the 95 finishing. That definitely is the way to go for him. Um, a Hawk looks very, very nice. Because the passing and the dribbling are so highly rated, that is absolutely perfect for the rest of the card. He looks solid. Looks absolutely solid. He's coming in roughly at around about 700 on the Xbox 480 on the PS and 900 on the PC, which is dropping as we speak. He's only been out a couple of hours, if, if an hour of that. So he will definitely come down, but so far looks a solid card. So let's jump into him and see what Maddie can do for us. Straight over to Madison. Let's see what we can get with this guy. He should, I can imagine, be relatively good on the ball, off the ball. Let's have a look. We've got a lovely bit of that. That left stick is looking absolutely fire as we find straight away nearly getting Ian right in that is very nice i'm just double checking he is yeah he is right footed into madison again little flick no okay keep on to it good recovery doesn't necessarily win it but that is enough madison with a dying run here can we flick it over it's not necessarily where i wanted it but it's a it's a solid ball it puts him under pressure Coming off a little bit of a goal there. Madison coming in real hot. What can we find? We're going to just try and get that little turn. If we can, I thought he might have committed that little bit more. Madison again for the burners. He's got Theo chasing all the way. Pings it back to Mbappe. Not necessarily again the one I wanted, but we still move. He still managed to get there. Madison making the run this time. We find a beautiful ball over the top. Pings it into Mbappe. And again, it's a solid, solid block from Koulibaly. Oh, Vinny with a header to Madison again. I like him on this wing, even though 100% he is definitely going to be more vital as a cam. 100%, you can see the right wing works as well. He's got that pace. He's got that initial kind of burst of pace that really, really works well on that right wing. And the dribbling seems very fine and nice and tidy to get forward very, very quickly as we find him again on this back burner looking for... A pass, find it across, and it's as simple as that. And unfortunately, not as simple as that, as it just is another great save. But that one isn't. There it is. Is he on side? Lovely. Oh, I just cannot get round Theo. And this is going to be the problem. Sometimes that final defender is an absolute pain in the backside to try and get round. Vinny finding Madison get the first good touch. We know we're going on the outside. Pings it across and nobody, absolutely nobody picking it up there. Straight away, Madison gets to work here if we can. Do we get the throw in? We do indeed. Madison with the outside of the foot. Outstretched crossbar attempt. Madison finds his way out of that. I don't know how. Ooh, does get a good challenge on him, but I thought we may have been able to get a turn there. Madison in the center looking for the overlap for Mbappe. Finds his little pass in. The keeper's out. He makes that save, and it's just enough to tip it away from the attacker. But I do think now, looking at Madison, a few games in now, 
definitely would prefer him in the middle. On the right, he's nice, but I just feel like he's kind of got a couple of tricks up his sleeve. Once you've kind of passed that, they can kind of really cotton on quite easily. So I think center-wise, kind of dictating play, getting the passes, assisting, maybe then getting kind of like his own shots every now and then. That is probably the perfect basis to kind of go with Madison's sort of game plan, really. Madison over the top. Finds it into Mbappe, who's just offside. Madison sees it through, outside of the foot, and that is where Madison is better. Beautiful goal. Manages just to get it on the inside, and it's just a simple tap away. I'd expect most to get that. Manages. Madison. Ah, oh, and Vinny's just not there. Madison's making that run down wing. Get the first touch into Vinny. First touch, bang. Good save from the keeper. That's very nice. And it's a lovely ball straight off the bat. Unfortunately, we just couldn't quite capitalize. Into Madison. Looking for that Vinny overlap. It's lovely. Need Madison in a position to get that ball again. It's a solid challenge. I'll give it him. Can we find Maddie? It's lovely. It's gone back out. And it's a solid shot. And Ward-Prowse is there to mop it up. How on earth that didn't go in the first time. But it's lucky we've got a teammate ready just to pounce on that final chance to get it to 2-1. Oh, that's got to be. Finds in a bit of Kimmich. And Kimmich is going to finish the game off there. It's beautiful from Madison. So going into the overall for Maddie then. So he's now coming in. At 670, 483. And 650. To be honest, not a bad pricing yet. I can imagine that will drop down heavily just purely for the fact of how many cards we've actually got. I can't see him sticking at that sort of price without being like 90 something rated. It's just not going to happen. But what you do get is a solid card. I will say that most definitely he played way better in the center than he did on the wing. That is personally how I like to play. I like wing players to be absolutely extraordinary quick. Insigne, Di Maria, Messi, Ronaldo, all of them jazz. And then I like my kind of cams to be ready, passing, all of that dribbling lark, all of the left stick dribbling. And that's how it works. Madison, for me, is a perfect cam. His dribbling is absolutely on point. Passing's very nice. He's got a good amount of pace and he can shoot. I would much prefer him in the middle than I would on the right. That's just naturally how I personally would work with it. The chemistry style you're definitely going for there is going to be the Hawk. 97 pace, which is always perfect. 96 shooting, which is obviously what you need. And then a bit extra on that physicality taken is aggression to 98. Again, a bit more on that strength. Doesn't really make too much of a difference with the strength, but it does enough just to get it up a little bit more because the dribbling's practically maxed out. And the passing is, is again, as good as top level as you really want it to. And as you can see, it doesn't turn him into a 97 cam. 96 center forward, left forward, right forward. Or obviously the 97s on the wing. I think he's an absolute perfect card. He is an interesting one because we have got a lot of good right wings. So you'd have to find somebody that does the same as a cam to right wing. That is, again, not necessarily easy to find. If we are looking at just at right wings in general... You're looking mainly at the new Bale card. You're looking at Messi, Salah. You've got Werner, Garincha. The standards are there. So there is a lot of top players. So you'd really have to be needing that English player for the links or just fancying to put a different change in there and going for Madison. Um, and obviously, the, the price-wise are, are there as well. Messi being number one, you've obviously got his uh, team of the season as well as his team of the year. One rating between them. Salah's player of the month is obviously an SBC, so that's fine. But Werner's coming in at high price. And I think exactly what Madison will do as well is he will stick at a, at a decent price. He won't necessarily be dropping to, to 150, 200k. But I definitely think if he's already dropping to 700 from extinction at 1.5 mil, then yes, he will drop a little bit more yet and as we find out what upgrade packs we get tomorrow that will kind of decide of how much is being packed and if it's worth him or not in terms of the card himself pace wise was fantastic shooting was decent again we've seen higher shooting standards but most definitely a decent shooter passing was exquisite dribbling was very very nice you could definitely tell that left stick dribbling was coming in absolute clutch with him the height the body build all of it was working really really well in that middle and that's why i personally would always rate him as a cam i think overall wise i'd be looking at i'd be looking at a high end 9.8 i think he's got a little bit more to add to his game to get to that 10 but most definitely a fantastic card I'd probably be looking 
under 400k at a minimum, I would say, if he can drop to that point. But I think anything more than that, there is a lot of players out there for this, for that that sort of price that you can get, which will give you exactly that as well. And you can get some that are really, really cheap, and they will give you exactly what you need. So overall for Madison, I think it's a fantastic card. Not necessarily worth the price at the moment, but definitely if he does drop below, then definitely have a look if you can. And hopefully upgrades pay us out nicely tomorrow. So make sure you do like and subscribe on this. I'll catch you off the next one. Bases.